Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 1, part 2 from exercise 3.6, chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the example problems, exercise 3.1, 3.2 and 3.4. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button. Let us begin with the video. Question number 1, part 2 from exercise 3.6, chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables says, solve the following pair of equations equations by reducing them to a pair of linear equations right these are the two given pair of equations where we have 2 by root x plus 3 by root y equal to 2 and 4 by root x minus 9 by root y equal to minus 1 so here the variables are given in the denominator and in the root so we have to reduce these e given equation to a pair of linear equations equations. The standard form of pair of linear equations are given by a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. Here the variables x and y are in the numerator itself. So we have to bring these two equations in the form of a general form of a linear equation first, right? So the first given equation can be rewritten as, since this is 2 by root x, this can be written as 2 into 1 by root x plus 3 into 1 by root y equal to 2, right? So let this be equation 1. Similarly, the second given equation can also be written as 4 by 4 into 1 by root x minus this 9 by root y can be written as 9 into 1 by root y equal to minus 1. Let this be equation number 2. So in this first and second equation, we have 1 by root x and 1 by root x. So this can be substituted to some other variable, right? Let it be p. Let us substitute 1 by root x equal to p. Similarly, this 1 by root y and 1 by root y from the first and second equation can be substituted to some other variable like q. So 1 by root y equal to q, right? So let us substitute this in equation 1 and 2. Substitute in equation 1 and 2. So if you substitute from equation 1, you get 2 into 1 by root x can be written as p. So 2p plus 3. 1 by root y is written as q. 3q equal to 2. So let us take this as equation number 3. Similarly, from equation 2, we can write 4 into 1 by root x as p minus 9 and 1 by root y can be written as q equal to minus 1. So let us take this as equation number 4. So we have reduced the given equation, general form of a linear equations where the variables p and q are in the numerators itself, right? So it is in this form. Now let us apply elimination method to equation 3 and 4 and solve these two equations. So write down apply elimination method to eliminate the q variable, the coefficients of q are not equal. So for First of all, let us make the coefficients equal by multiplying equation 3 by 3. If you multiply equation 3 by 3, here you get 3 into 3 as 9q. So you get plus 9q and minus 9q in both the equation which can be eliminated, right? So multiplying equation 3 by 3, we get 3 into 2 as 6p plus 3 into 3 is 9q equal to 3 into 2 is 6 Similarly, the equation 4 will be as it is, that is 4p minus 9q equal to minus 1. The coefficients of variable q are equal and also the sign is plus and minus, which is the second rule of elimination method. So we can directly apply this elimination method here by cancelling plus 9q and minus 9 right so here we have plus 6p and plus 4p so we have to add here 6 plus 4 plus 10p equal to again we have here plus 6 and minus 1 so we have to subtract here with the greater number sign so greater number is 6 so sign will be plus so 6 minus 1 is 5 so we got 10p equal to 5 or p can be written as 5 by 
10. We are sending this 10 to right hand side. So cancelling 5 1 times 5 2 times. So therefore we get here P equal to 1 by 2. So now let us substitute this P equal to 1 by 2 in either of the two equations that is 3 and 4 and find out the Q value. So write down substitute P equal to 1 by 2 in equation 3. So equation 3 is given as 2P plus 3Q equal to 2. 2 into P is 1 by 2 plus 3q equal to 2. So they cancel this 2 and 2. So we will be left with or we get here 1 plus 3q equal to 2. Sending this 1 to right hand side we get 3q equal to 2 minus 1 or 3q is equal to 1 or q is equal to 1 by 3. So here we got q value as 1 by 3. Now initially we had assumed 1 by root x as equal to p and 1 by root y equal to q. So now let us equate those two values here. p value we got here as 1 by 2 and we had assumed p value as equal to 1 by root x. So let us equate the right hand sides of these two p values. So we get 1 by root x equal to 1 by 2 or cross multiplying 2 into 1 is 2 equal to root x into 1 is root x. So here we have got a root sign. So let us square on both the sides. Squaring on both the sides we get 2 square equal to root x the whole square. So 2 square is 4 and equal to the square and square root will get cancelled and so therefore it is x. So therefore we can say x is equal to 4 right. Now similarly we have q equal to 1 by 3 and q equal to 1 by root y right. So q equal to 1 by 3 and q equal to 1 by root y. So equating both the right hand sides of the q so we get 1 by 3 equal to 1 by root y cross multiplying you get root y equal to 3. Again we have a square root here so we have to square on both the sides squaring on both the sides so we get root y the whole square equal to 3 square so this root and square get term get cancelled so y is equal to 3 square is 9. So we got x as equal to 4 and y as equal to 9 which is the solution for the given pair of equations. So this is how we solve this problem by initially substituting the root terms to some other variables like p and q, substituting the root terms another set of variables like p and q and then finding the solution. So if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video I will be solving part 3 from question number 1 exercise 3.6 chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables. So till then do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my video as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen. Thank you.